Jacob and Vanoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Tensions, I, I guess it's an understatement to say that tensions are rising between NATO and Russia. As we reported yesterday, uh, Dmitry Peskov stating that it was worse than the Cold War era. That's how bad relationships have gotten. Well, this might have a lot to do with why NATO is in a frenzy throughout Europe right now. Uh, you're looking on the screen and behind you here, Russia's develops hypersonic 4,600 mile per hour Zircon missile. Uh, they tested this just, uh, just the other day, or actually, excuse me, they tested this last year. Uh, back in July, but the race to develop an unstoppable, unbeatable weapon, weapon capable of defeating all military defense systems in the world is getting much too close for comfort, according to the article uh, here on uh, Fox News' tech report. Uh, it says, according to the multiple reports, Russia is expected to begin production soon on its 3M22 Zircon, a hypersonic missile that will travel 4,600 miles per hour, five times the speed of sound, and will have a range of 250 miles. That's just three minutes and 15 seconds from launch to impact. It's already a major standoff right now over in Europe uh, with Kaliningrad uh, right now, and the United States definitely deploying more and more military hardware within striking distance of Kaliningrad, uh, and of course Kaliningrad carrying the uh, Iskander missile system with nuclear capable warheads of a 500 kilometer range all the way to Germany and even to Paris, France uh, from that little tiny bit of land there. But just kind of just show you a little quick picture set up here uh, off of Google Pictures here, all the different NATO build up forces there uh, all around Kaliningrad, all into the Baltic states of uh, right on Russia's doorstep there the drills, the training, the, the constant movement of troops. Well, Russia really is no match for NATO when it comes to that, but it's not to say that Russia is not preparing as well. Uh, Lorenzo on his uh, page here is sharing with us right here some more movement of troops. This over there in Crimea, moving in the defense missile systems over into Crimea, as, and that's actually the bastion system that they've got going on there. Uh, but as well, another new interesting uh, deployment of uh, our, our movement of troops inside of Kaliningrad. Russia doing drills there for a terrorist uh, alert going on in Kaliningrad right now. And uh, so Russia definitely taking it very serious, all of NATO's buildup. And as we have discovered, as we re read out to you yesterday, it looks like that Russia is getting ready to carve away to Kaliningrad from Belarus, uh, because no doubt Russia really beginning to expect that there's going to be something much bigger going on uh, at any time now with Kaliningrad and NATO. Of course, that was in response when Putin ordered the uh, Iskander missiles there to Kaliningrad as a response to the NATO buildup in Europe on Russia's borders. So things are just really heating up very big and not looking good. French News also speaking in depth about this and how serious it is for the Iskander uh, M missiles with a nuclear warhead capable of striking targets inside of Europe and how that something's got to change and got to change soon. Uh, also, in other news as well, uh, Mr. Tillerson, the Secretary of State for the United States on the Trump administration in, a, in an article here in Russia, making fun of Foreign Minister Lavrov. Seems like here lately the jokes are just running around about other leaders around the world. Uh, that was a bit of a surprise, though, that Tillerson making fun of Lavrov, uh, of course, wasn't as big a surprise there when John McCain made fun of uh, Kim Jong-un and called him a little fat boy or a fat dictator there in uh, his country there. Well, according to Kim Jong-un, that was an act of war. You know, the little fat guy does have his finger on the trigger of nuclear weapons and even what we're hearing as well is there's nuclear weapons in space orbiting above the United States, a couple of satellite systems. So if the U.S. is fixing to strike uh, North Korea, they're going to have to do a lot of striking and very quick if he doesn't pull a trigger himself first. 
Uh, moving into other news as well, Mathis, uh, uh, Mateus, excuse me, uh, is saying North Korea has got to be stopped. So it looks like the United States is definitely going to go after North Korea. And from the looks of uh, NATO and their buildup, it looks like Kaliningrad may be going down right about the same time. Things are definitely heating up uh, and very rapidly. I want to share with you too, the Syrian military cap, uh, they are reporting, it's in the Russian language on this here, not in the, uh, not in the Arabic language, but in the Russian language, that Israel has had a F-15 downed inside of their country. Of course, Syria has made several claims of this over the last uh, several months, each time claiming to have shot at one of the Israeli planes that were inside of its territory there and claiming to down the plane still with not a shred of evidence to prove it. But there are, the statement here in Russian does say that the uh, Syrian uh, Arab army has taken down an F-15 and says don't wait for Israel to confirm it because they won't. Well, we're waiting to see if Syria can prove it. Uh, but anyway, that is an alleged allegation by the Syrian government thus far. Also, uh, it was released, of course, a few days ago. Syria threatens Israel with Scud missile attacks. Uh, I report the Lebanese newspaper al Diyar Saturday said Damascus has communicated to Jerusalem through Russian intermediaries that further attacks by Israeli forces on targets within Syria will be replied with Scud missiles on Israeli soil. Syria declared that it would respond to Israeli attacks on its military with Scud missiles fired at Israeli Defense Forces installations while strikes at civilian centers would result to missiles targeted at the port city of Haifa and the adjacent petrochemical facilities, the report stated. Very serious things that are going on without a doubt. Lavrov also, uh, of course this was about a week ago, Russia will judge Israel by its actions, not words in Syria. Russian's foreign ministry says that agreements between Israel and Russia concerning Syria should be based on actions, not words. Things are definitely heating up there in the Middle East and uh, not looking good. Not just the Middle East, but Europe, NATO, Far East. It looks like we have three different hot points going on right now. Syria, Kaliningrad, and North Korea. Which one is going to kick off first and is it going to be a domino effect when it happens? I have no idea. We'll be keeping you posted as we see these stories develop. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. If you'd like to support this broadcast, please do so. And don't forget, all you have to do if you want to uh, support the work that we're doing right here, just take go to YouTube there. When you go to our uh, homepage there, you can actually just take and click on the, uh, actually I think you could click on, I know you don't click on my channel, but when you click on, uh, I think the homepage for Israeli News Live, you will actually see our page right there, the way it looks there. And for your convenience, because so many people had asked us to try to make this a little bit easier, we put right there on our page there, a little place there where you can donate there to help out the work that we're doing here. Thank you and blessings to you. Shalom. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We'll be uh, posting more interviews, more interesting things that, were, that we did while we were in Israel. Do keep in mind, though, whether they're aired on here on Israeli News Live or on uh, Danun Institute or Yana's channel, Rise Up Children of God, uh, we don't necessarily hold every view of those people that we interview. Don't say that we don't agree with certain points that they have, but we just want to share with you interesting information that the people shared with us. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.